We begin this hour 18 with chaos at City Council. It started over concerns related to Anjanette Young's wrongful raid case and ended with an abrupt adjournment and complaints the mayor isn't following the rules. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozlov lied outside City Hall. Dana, there is growing dissent in council chambers. Yeah, Brad, there's definitely a group of aldermen who say that city council meetings are becoming an out of control free for all, and they are blaming the person who currently occupies the office here on the fifth floor. I, I do not believe that that's correct, sir. No. I'm, ruling, I'm ruling you out of order. A roll call vote. That was just the beginning of a Chicago City Council meeting that at times seemed up for grabs. This council is not a council of order anymore. It's not a council of rules. The spark was 15th Ward Alderman Ray Lopez's move to defer the appointment of Celia Meza as Corporation Counsel over concerns of the law department's handling of Ann Jeanette Young's wrongful police raid case. 20th Ward Alderwoman Jeanette Taylor jumped on board. When do we stop playing the game of mistreating people in our community? So this ain't about that. And so I second Alderman Lopez. I'm not changing it. Normally, aldermen say council rules require the move to defer automatically delays the vote for a month. But Mayor Lori Lightfoot allowed comments and then a recess. Afterwards, still more fireworks over apparent procedural missteps. According to our rules of order, according to our rules and regulations, there were several Rule 41s that were posted <clears throat> that have to be addressed at this meeting. Alderman Beale, I think you're un incorrect. Alderman Beale made a motion to lay on the table. That is the motion that it takes precedence and it is not debatable. Said City Council's longest serving member, Ed Burke, currently under federal indictment. The mayor's response, a harsh off mic reprimand. This administration with how it's been running these meetings and the city council is an absolute joke. It's a farce for the city of Chicago to see where rules are being ignored. Ultimately, the meeting was adjourned and rescheduled for Friday with very little business getting done. The second time it's happened in the last month. Some aldermen appeared clearly exasperated, others downplay concerns. Things fell apart today and, uh, you know, we have uh, members of the city council who have different opinions and this is just a struggle that's going on. But there's a growing group who say that struggle is due to the mayor's refusal to work with those who disagree with her. I'm willing to work with her. I want to work with everybody in the council does. That's her I want this to be a one woman show and I don't got time for it. Chicago doesn't have time for it. The mayor, postponed it. the mayor postponed a news conference until Friday as well, so I was unable to ask her any direct questions about what happened today. However, I sent her spokesperson a very specific list of questions. I did not get a response other than a general statement sent out to everybody where Mayor Lightfoot expressed her frustration at what went down today. Brad? Well, certainly not a day of mundane parliamentary procedure at City Council. Uh, besides speaking out, though, Dana, are aldermen planning to take any ad additional action? Well, you know, to be fair, a lot of the aldermen who spoke out loudly today are longstanding critics of the mayor. With that being said, one of them is Alderman Anthony Beal, but he told me after the meeting that on Friday he plans to make a motion to bring in a parliamentarian and a lawyer on behalf of city council members to serve as a procedural watchdog, if you will. So we'll have to see how that flies, Brad. Fascinating. That will be interesting and potentially mundane, but we will wait and see. Dana, thank you.